Well, greetings, precious ones. I hope all is well. So listen, I have a quick word. Specifically, I need those of you that have a burden for souls to hear me and help share this. This is for our celebrities. God has given me a mandate and he has given me an assignment for our celebrities because we that are not celebrities tend to think that celebrities are something special spooky type or some sort of god or as we call some sort of idol and we have to be very careful um, the word of God tells us in Matthew the 16th chapter that what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and then lose his soul what does it profit you to gain the whole world and then lose your soul and that's what's happening in the celebrity arena. A lot of them have fallen by the wayside and they don't know how to get up. Like a sheep. You know, a sheep, when a sheep falls over on its back, it can't turn back over on its own. Every time I get ready to touch what the Lord has given me to do, this enemy comes because my tape stopped. I don't know what happened. I don't know where I stopped, but it just shut off. But a shepherd has to be there to tend the sheep. Because if a sheep falls over on his back, he can't breathe, he can't move, and he can die. So the celebrities that we are uh, enjoying entertainment-wise, many of them are falling uh, because, first of all, God does not, according to Isaiah 42 and 8, the Lord said he doesn't share his glory with anyone. He has given us the gift. Every gift and talent that you have belongs to the Lord, which means it's supposed to be used for his glory. But what, had, what has happened is the enemy has taken the glory of God and put it upon himself. That's why back in the past year or so where the fans were throwing items. So you have to look in the spirit. You have to look into the spirit realm because we're not wrestling against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. We're wrestling against spirits, demonic forces that are overtaking people who are possessing people and overtaking their bodies because the spirit of the Lord is not there. You know, if the spirit of the Lord was in you, he doesn't share that. He will not share his temple with anyone. And you notice back a few uh, a year or some months, a year ago or so, where fans were throwing items up on the stage and talk. Because let me tell you, once Satan gets you where he wants you, once he gets you in his trap, once he trap you, you were you 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 were baited, and he takes you and just uses you like trash. Take a look at some of the celebrities right now that's been persecuted, been judged. And it should only be judged by man, by God. I'm sorry. They should only be judged by God. You have no right to judge. Who are you to judge? Let he that is without sin cast the first stone. But they're falling and they can't get up. You're going to lose your soul. You've taken the glory of God. And see what happens is the celebrities, you get so high. I'm going to help you out. I need this to get to the celebrity. I'm going to let me help you out. Number one, stop saying that giving the glory to the universe. You cannot glory. You cannot give the glory to what God has created and made. In the book of Job. 38th chapter, 4th through the 11th verse. He asked him, 
He asked Job, where were you when I created the universe? So all you celebrities who are getting on the platforms when you receive your awards and all, stop giving glory to the universe. That because you make the universe your idol. Let me tell you something. Every good and perfect gift comes from God, not the universe. Celebrities, get the universe out of your mouth when it comes to giving thanks and give it to the creator of the universe. That's number one. And that's a trap of Satan. Want to confuse you. Want to call, And as many of you who claim you love the Lord Jesus, but you never give him the glory. I never hear you give him the glory. I hear you give the universe the glory. Stop it. Every opportunity the Lord has given you, whether it's whether it's to to be have the number one album or to have the number one talk show or have the or, or be the uh, actor of the year or the movie of the year, it give the glory to God, not the universe, not Warner's, not not any of the Lion Gate. It goes the glory goes to God and Him only. You have sold out. Satan baited you. God prepared a table before you in the presence of your enemies, in the presence of his enemies. And you've invited those same enemies to the table that the Lord has prepared for you. And now you wonder. See, every time Satan takes you and traps you, he eats you up like wolves. Look at our latest one. I'm not going to mention any names. You already know. Tear them up like a wolf. How many of you fell on your face and prayed for this brother? The other brother. Now the gate has been opened for the, the house of God and the men and women of God to just be attacked left and right. No. Watch your eyes and watch your ears, what you see and what you hear. Go to God for yourself and then watch your mouth because the same judgment that you're putting out there, you're going to be judged. So be careful. You're next. And I'm talking to those that is out there judged. You can tell the world, the children of darkness from the children of light because the children of darkness is digging for the dirt to expose. If you remember Noah, if you remember Noah's son, when Noah got drunk after the flood and his son walked in there and saw him naked and went and told so someone else so his other brothers can see him naked, but the other brothers had respect. They backed, their, they backed themselves in the room and they covered their father's nakedness. And that's what we must do. Don't get caught up. Don't get caught up in the judgment. Don't get caught up. Father, I thank you for those that are under the sound of my voice. And I pray, Lord, that this part one of the message that you have for celebrities, that they will repent from the sellout. For those that made a promise and a vow to you that they were going to make a change. Father, I pray that you remind them and that you would have mercy that you will have mercy. Pray that the Holy Spirit will open up the eyes of those who think that they're doing right by judging. They have no right. Glory and honor and praise belong to you. We lift up our celebrities and we lift up those that you placed in our heart. That Father, that the Satan will not win. Snatch your children from that arena. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. I'll be back again. God has a word for celebrities. You got to help me get this out. Love you. And the footsteps of the righteous man are ordered.